All the tools that I'll be showing in this video are tools that took me years to finally find them. Took me a load of, oh my, can someone help me? Ha! Huh. And then, finally, the answer was there. And I'm here doing this job for you, so you don't have to take all of your time, all of your energy into doing the same research. No, 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 no need for that. I'm doing that job for you, okay? You you sit down and you you get the tools, okay? You get the links, you get the goodies, the goodies. Heck yeah. Now, let's go to number one. Well, have you ever thought in the middle of your art process that you're like, oh my, I don't know where to find a good color, color setting a good color combination should I use complementary colors should I use monochromatic well this website helped me a lot to just take a good look at my color composition this first one that we are going is Adobe color wheel so you can see here that just as I open the website you already can see many color harmony rules and you can just go and click on them and it's already going to separate for you the one that you selected like hey i want monochromatic here for you darling already everything separated you want only bright colors it's fine we got you you can get all of them saturated not saturated look at that try it complementary split everything and you can have the right name of each color so you can just pretty much grab the color you're going to use in your artwork and already test here if it's really going to work before anything. Yeah, you got the perfect triad analogous monochromatic stuff. So less mistakes means your artwork is getting even better. This is the number one color wheel. Remember, all the links are going to be in the description. Now let's go to number two. You probably have seen yourself having trouble or struggling with anatomy and poses and gesture. And you try to do the chair to running and it seems like it's just like faking a run like... Ugh. That <laughs> yeah, pretty much that. It happens to all of us. So in this website called Quick Poses, this problem is vanished. Yeah, you don't have that anymore. Here you can just start training how to do gestures. You choose how long, uh, which part you want, a full pose, only face, only hand, animals, landscape, human, everything. Not only that, you can have other settings and of course clothes for me to show people. And you can choose a specific amount of time that you're going to see a certain picture before it changes. And you can start drawing that in that amount of time. And it's going to help you improve your gesture. So you don't focus so much on details and you focus more on what's truly important. That is the full movement of the picture, of course. Let me show an example. I want 30 seconds, of course, clothes. Uh, start here. It's going to show me this image for 30 seconds. The timer is here. I can pause, I can just skip, I can go like brr whatever, brr whatever, brr whatever. <laughs> Yeah, and just, you just tr start drawing. So I really recommend that for people that struggle a lot with poses, with anatomy, that you feel like, oh no, I don't know if I'm doing good. It's all about training, my brother. So that's the perfect tool for you, quick poses. If you need your anatomy stuff. Let's go for number three, Sketchfab. I feel sometimes that this website is the most precious thing that I have ever found in my entire life. And maybe it is. So this amazing website can help you with many 3D models. Let's say that you really want to draw Sonic. So I, I typed down Sonic. <laughs> And you're like, you're a neutral fan of Sonic. Here, this one. There is a 3D mod of Sonic. But you really wanted to draw Sonic in a different pose, you know? And you really wanted to see how are his spikes on the back of his, his head. Here, there, is the perfect reference for you. It's amazing. It helps you so much. You can see how the spikes in his head is on the angle that you want to draw and you don't not you don't even need to use only for like specific details but the best thing is also that you can use for poses like remember that i said about running like you really want to draw a horse running in a specific angle and you don't know how here you can see how it happens now you can understand deep in your mind how it like you really wanted to draw the horse like frontally to see the face and the paw here pretty closely and then you go like, oh, now I can see what is happening here. This paw is big, this other paw is small, the head is big. You can see everything, that's amazing. And remember, you can always do a donation to the person that did the 3D model. So just go and support other artists, they are amazing. Buy from them. Best selling, here. There is amazing stuff, look at this. You can get all of this amazing stuff. Look, 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 at, the, look at this. Look at this, how much amazing stuff we can use. Imagine a city, oh my, like you have a 3D background 
and you're like, oh my, a 3D background. You have a city background and you're like, I don't know how to draw those buildings. Here, you can have an example or you can just open the Sims or I don't know, Sim City. That, that works too. Use video games, that, that's an extra tip. Use video games for background. You can see like, oh, this is a specific angle for the city and everything. It's the same logic for everything. That's what I'm trying to say. So this website's amazing. It's lovable. It's incredible. I love this website. Ah, oh, amazing website. Now we are on number four. This one is called Map Crunch. It's pretty much a Google Maps. That's Google Map. You can see here the logo Google. It's Google Maps. That's it. With Google Maps, you can find such amazing places. Pretty much like, hey, look at those trees. You could you could make a great background out of this. And the best is that like, hey, you click randomly here on Go and it's gonna keep on appearing for you cool places that you could be adding into your comic or into your artwork, into your commission, into your fan art of a ship that you like to draw. That's true specific. And you can say, you can choose specifically which country do you want and like, if you prefer urban, urban, indoor, stealth, hide all location information. Okay, tour, auto, you can choose so many things. And you can keep on clicking going and going and going, go, 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 go. Oh my, Some, oh my, I can imagine drawing charters here. So that's pretty much it. It's a free background, free background generator. You go there, you click go, and then you find a place. Or you can choose a country. Let's go into Brazil. Here. <laughs> I'm in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> That's why such an amazing tool. That's going to help. Hey, it's going to help you improve your cloud drawing. How are your clouds drawing? Have you checked my tutorial on how to draw clouds? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this one's better. Look at this. Look at this beautiful nature. You can try and draw on that. And not only those pictures that you find on Google. Psh, no. So let's go into the next one. And this time it's going to be the most important one. The one that, oh my, it opened my eyes. It made everything in my life so much easier. This one's the best one in this list. So why not hit a like and subscribe since you got into this part of the video. I'm seeing that you're enjoying the content. Don't you, da don't you dare, don't you dare, don't you dare lie to me. I see that you're liking it. So leave a like, subscribe, come on. And now that you have hit a like and subscribe, here's the cute image of little Little pig, little pig, pig. Let's go to last one. Number five. Well, you are trying to draw your furries, your humans, your anything that you want in a specific angle. And you're like, hmm, maybe I don't know how to draw in that angle. I get you. I get you so much. I get you like a thousand times. I get you. This two right here, you're like, hey, I really wanted to draw like in this angle, not like not only from the side view, but also like rotated and like rotated, you know? And then you're like, I love wolves. I, me, wolf. I wolf. Here, wolf. You choose the species, wolf. And then you click on search. Look at the magic. It's going to find pictures according to the angle that you selected. According to the angle that you selected, guys. Do you know how amazing this is? Look at this, look at this, look at this, I'm changing, I'm changing. Look at this, look at this. This is a very cringe angle and it still found that angle. Cringe and still found it. Look at the second one. It's exactly like it and still find it. Let's go again. Look, look at this. No more trouble. No, more. no, 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 no more worry. No more trouble. And you can have that for so many species. Are there humans here? No humans? Oh, no humans. Okay, we are. So this is a tool for only furries. Look at this. Look at this. I want tigers. Look at this. How perfect this is. I love tigers. They are so perfect. Look at that. Ah! And you have trouble drawing very specific angles. No trouble. They're going to find it. They even have snake raccoons. Yeah, they have all of that stuff that you want to draw. All of them. All of them. And I love this website. It made things so much easier for me. I recommend it. What are you waiting for? Go and click in the link in the description. It's for free. So a little bonus for people here. This tool is a little bit different. This tool is called a lazy Nezumi. The name of it's pretty much a mouse that it's feeling lazy. This helps you to make your brush more soft with not so much trembling. 
Also, what is moving does, but this one works even more on that. It have rules of perspective and literally rules to help you do stuff on perspective or without perspective and all of that stuff. So, if these two tips, tricks, if this website helped you, why not share with your friend artists? Why not share in a group of people that are like, oh no, I don't know how to do. Now you can help them. You can help them make the process even more faster. You can help them make the art even more strong. Ah, you know, why not help them search, share with your friends, share with this friend. Have you talked with a stranger about this video? Talk with a stranger about this video. They're gonna love it. Do that. Do that right now. And I'll be seeing you champs in the next one. Subscribe, leave a like. Don't forget we have a Patreon if you want to support the channel. And also a game road for tutorial. Bye bye champs.